Good day all. Today we are going to look at the topic differentiation of algebraic fraction. With you I am Idris Abdekadri. In differentiation, you need to be able to find the gradient function of a formula. As a general rule, if f of x equals to ax power n, this is the formula for the curve, that is the function, then f of x equals to n a x power n minus 1. This is the gradient function for f of x. The formula for that gives the gradient at any point. It is also known as the derivative or derived function. Now let's take a look at an example. Find the derived function of each of the following. We have f of x equals to x power 3. Our value is x raised to the power of 3. Now, the derived function of it will give 3x power 2. Why? Because this our power will be multiplied by the x, which will give us 3x. Then the power again will be minus 1. That is 3 minus 1, and we have 2. That is why we have it to be 3x power 2. Here we have f of x equals to 2x power 2, and we have it to be 4x power 1, which is the same thing as 4x. C, f of x equals to x minus 2. This one will be different from the first and second one, where we have it to be minus 2 times x will give us minus 2x. Then our power will be plus 1, because our power is negative. So it will be plus 1. Then two, mi two plus, minus 2 plus 1 will give us minus 3. That is why we have minus 2x is to the power of minus 3. Then f of x equals to minus 3x power minus 3. And we also have it to be 9x power 4. Then another example. Find the derived function of each of the following. f of x equals to 1 over x power 2. We say must be written in the form of ax raised to the power n first, and uh, f of x equals to x minus 2, and uh, f of when the derive will be f of x equals to minus 2 power minus 3. Another example f of x equals to square root of x. When we write it, we have equals to x power half, and uh, we, it will be the derivatives will be half x raised to the power minus half, which we have 1 all over 2 square root of x. You need to be able, and you also need to be able to solve graphical problem using gradient function. Remember that differentiating gives us a formula for the gradient as a given point on the graph x. A standard question will ask you to work out the gradient of a curve at a particular point. This is when differentiating is used. Now, calculate the gradient of the curve f of x equals to x square, where x equals to 3. As you can see, f of x equals to x square. Differentiate to get the gradient function. When we differentiate it, we have to x and uh, Substitute the value for x, where we have the f of 3, it will be f of 3 equals to 6, because 2 times 3, our x is now 3, so 2 times 3 will give us 6. The same thing goes to the second example, where you say that uh, x squared at the coordinate minus 2, when you differentiate it, you have 2x, you, after differentiating, you substitute your x, and you have minus 2, then Two, uh, two, min two times minus 2, and you get minus 4 with a graph illustrated below. Then the next question, find the derivative of which derivative when y equals to 2x minus 6x minus 4. y equals to 2x minus 6x minus 4. Here, we keep the constant. Differentiate each time separately. A number is on its own disappear because it is constant. Then the derivative will give us 2x minus 6. 4 is constant, so we don't need to do it. So it will disappear. This also means our dy over the x is the gradient function. 
another example let f of x equals to 4x squared minus 8x plus 3. Find the gradient. All you need to do is just differentiate. After differentiating, our 3 is a constant here. So we we'll only have the y over the x equals to 8x minus each. Substitute half. Substitute in x equals to half. When we have x to be half, then we have f of half equals to 8 times half which will give you 4 minus 8. Then f of half will give you minus 4. Another example, find the coordinate when the graph y equals to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 as a gradient of 7. Now, let's differentiate. After differentiating, we have f of x equals to 4x minus 5. 3 is, a, 3 is the constant. The gradient is 7 at the point where we want the gradient is 7 at the point where we want 7 equals to 4x minus 5 add 5 to both sides and we have 12 equals to 4x because 7 plus 5 will give us 12 4x minus 5 plus 5 will give us 4x now divide both sides by 4 and we have 3 equals to x which is x equals to 3 now, the x coordinates where the gradient is 7 has the value of 3. Substitute this into the origin that function to find the y coordinate. Now, when we substitute it, y equals to 2x squared, the original function, this is our original function. So, we substitute x to be 3. And we have 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 5 times 3 plus 3. And we have y equals to 6. So the graph has a gradient of 7 at 3 to 6. You need, also need to be able to deal with much more complicated as, uh, equations when differentiating. Remember, as before, all terms must be written in the form of Lx power n before they can be differentiated. It is useful to note that at this stage, at this stage being able to rewrite in this way is not essential. However, being able to switch between forms will be very useful on harder questions. Being able to do this now is worth practicing as you will definitely need it. Another example, now this is an example of fraction. This is an example of a fraction too. Differentiate the following, one over square root of x now, rewriting it to be in, uh, in the form of e x power n, we have x raised to power minus half. And uh, the, now we will differentiate. Divide by the x equals to minus half x power. When you differentiate it, you have minus 3 over 2. Now, imagine the time was split apart. Divide by the x minus half, of, minus half, that is minus 1 over 2 times my x raised to power minus 3 over 2. And we say that let's write the x times using power rule. The over the x equals to minus 1 over 2 times 1 all over square root of x cube. That's what we are going to have when we write it. When we write the x time using the power rule. And also, group the function of fractions by multiplying top button, then we have the y over the x equals to 1 all over 2 square root of x cube root. Another example, x minus 2 all over x square. Now, let's split into two fractions. We are going to split it into two fractions. And we have x all over x square minus 2 all over x squared. Uh, next step, cancel x on the first one, on the first side, on our left hand side, we cancel the x there. So when we cancel it, we have one over x minus two x squared. Rewrite in the form of a x raised to power n. Now we have x raised to power minus one, minus two x raised to power minus two. Differentiate. Now we are going to differentiate. Divide by the x equals to minus x 
minus x raised to the power minus 2 yes because it's minus 1 so which is going to be minus id differentiation will be minus x minus 2 then minus 4 uh, plus 4 sorry because minus times minus is plus plus 4 x raised to the power minus 3 and now we are going to rewrite using power rules the y over the x if you are following it from previous you you understand it the y over the x we have minus 1 over x square when we are rewriting it in power rule, using power rule we have minus 1 minus 1 over x square plus 4 all over 3 cube cube 3 cube root now make the denominators common the y over the x equals to minus x all over x cube root plus 4 all over x cube root now you can see when it's on power root it was 1 minus minus 1 all over x square now when we want to make the denominators common it should become x all over x cube root plus this so equals to now let's solve it then we have equals to minus x plus 4 equals to x cube root all over x cube root this when we make the denominators common we also have it to be minus x plus 4 all over 3 cube root now let's take a look let's take an assignment when you have the set f of x equals to x square minus 9 all over x minus 3. make sure you submit your answers or